man oh man yo what is up man and we are back with yet another yes man another video about bleach rebirth of souls man and man like yeah it's insane we're already having a bunch of videos a bunch of stuff to make videos on about this freaking game dude if you guys are expecting a breakdown for me it's going to come out at some point because i do need some time with that but i feel like this video needs to happen first because i feel like this information that was you know revealed or whatever that was talked about is quite prudent man so we have some interesting statements from the producer of Bleach Rebirth of Souls, man, that we just have to take a look at. I saw like the first sentence or two of this freaking like tweet or whatever. And then there's an actual article from the producer of this game. I guess he did an interview with IGN or something. So yeah, man, with all that being said, leave a like or whatever. And um, yeah, man, let's take a look at what this producer has to say about Bleach Rebirth of Souls, man. So boom, we got this guy here who basically kind of did like a little like synopsis kind of thing of the little article or whatever. But I guess producer Katsuaki Suzuki says this game will distinguish itself from other arena fighters. Boom. IGN explains the combat rebirth of souls. Combat is like a pastiche. I didn't know what that word was. So I looked it up real quick. I guess it's kind of like a really good like imitation or something. That's basically what that word means. I think anyways, like a pastiche pastiche excuse me of Sekiro's stagger sword play Tekken 7's reversals and Smash Brothers Ultimate's stock health bar system wherein players win battles by destroying an opponent's nine stocks or Kompaku that is quite the statement from the producer dude they want basically like a uh, combination of these like three elements from these three games bro Sekiro and Tekken Smash Brothers, I think that's where a lot of people's heads went to when they saw like that. They're like, yeah, the stocks, you know, the nine lives and nine stocks, right? When you saw it in the trailer or whatever, right? I'm pretty sure a lot of people's heads went there and that is exactly where they took that from. So that's really cool, man. But we're going to get into that statement in a bit here. Let's just finish this little synopsis type beat. There are characters that excel in speed, power, and range. And funnily enough, there was someone in my comments that predicted this type of thing to happen. I feel like that was kind of like a given though, but it's kind of cool to see kind of, like, you know, it being spelled out to us. Excel in speed, power, and range. Speed, people like Yodoichi and Soifon, you know what I mean? Power, maybe more so like um, Kenpachi, you know what I mean? And range, you know, obviously like Uryu, right? W. And, and apparently they played the previous Bleach games before they started development on Rebirth of Souls, dude. You do like a studio or whatever that does their homework. Dude. I'm assuming they, you know, they saw a lot of different elements from every other game they played of Bleach. You know what I mean? They're like, you know what? Let's see what we can do, man. And it seems like they really can air man holy moly by the way after this little article dude we're gonna take a look at apparently some rukia gameplay some teaser rukia gameplay so stay tuned for that dude holy moly there's so much info on this freaking game already dude like it makes me so excited that this game might come out actually at some point very soon dude there's already so much information already from it being barely revealed like not even like a week or two ago from the recording of this video and oh man this just makes me really excited anyways guys let's just jump right into the freaking article boom from ign i guess they did a freaking interview with them anyways bleach rebirth of souls producer on why it will be more than another run-of-the-mill anime fighter holy moly so yes let's get this little i guess little introduction here out the way you know a brand new 3d fighting game rebirth of souls and then obviously another fighting game, <laughs> Dragon Ball Sparking Zero has been well over a decade since we last seen a Bleach game and expectations for it are understandably at an all time high. I feel like that is quite true. Yes, it's going to come out on PS4, PS5, Xbox Series X and S and Steam. Oh, OK, Arena Fighters, anime Arena Fighters have a track record of having a short shelf life in players minds, in part because their gameplay tends to lack depth mm, beyond the bread and butter strategies that are sussed out within the honeymoon periods of their release. Suzuki, the producer, says Rebirth of Souls will distinguish itself from the pack by incorporating the anime's intricate power systems into the DNA of its gameplay, resulting in an enthralling ebb and flow of mechanically rich battles. This producer is talking a lot, bro, in a good way, bro. He literally, I'm assuming this is what a lot of you guys, you know, think about when you saw this game, you know, is it going to be a, a, like a, just a whatever arena fighter, you know what I mean? It's going to lack depth is, you know, it's going to be, you know, you, but this guy claims that it's going to be much more than what you think. Oh, snap. A quote here. While developing the game as a fighting action game, we delved into details from Bleach like Reishi, Kompaku, spiritual power, and spiritual pressure. After looking into that, we were surprised by how the worldview had been created in detail and how well those features aligned with our game concept and the fighting action genre. Suzuki said, okay. For example, Kompaku, which represents the content of the soul and bleach, is constructed with Reishi. Drawing inspiration from that concept, we set Reishi as a health gauge right, in the game, and players can break the Kompaku to, to decrease Reishi. He added, 
We introduce systems that allow players to, to experience reversals such as breaking Kopaku with a single strike or enhancing power through transformations to facilitate breaks. So yes, if like we all notice this, that in the trailer, basically your health is racing. You know what I mean? We're going to go over that in the breakdown and stuff later, hopefully, <laughs> you know, with my um, upcoming video. Um, yeah, the health gauge is basically Reishi, you know what I mean? Just it's plain and simple, Reishi is the health, right? Anyways, in action game layman terms, Rebirth of Souls' combat is like a, like again, with the, yeah, Sekiro swordplay, Tekken 7 reversals, and Smash Brothers Ultimate stock health bar system, wherein players win battle by destroying an opponent's nice stocks of or Kumpaku, although Suzuki refer to established action games like Naruto, the, like the Naruto Ultimate Ninja Storm games, JoJo's the Bizarre Adventure, All Star, All Star Battle R, Tekken 7, and Dragon Ball Fighters when making Rebirth of Souls. Rebirth of Souls feels authentically bleached to fans new and old. Let's finish this quote here. I know that Bleach is loved by fans worldwide, so I have been eager for an opportunity to work with this IP, Suzuki says. We know there that there is a strong enthusiasm from Bleach fans, and I want to develop a new Bleach game for a modern, high-spec platforms, especially since it is also around the timing of the 20th anniversary of Bleach. This guy sounds like he cares, chat. He sounds like he freaking cares, dude. So let's delve into the statement here with Sekiro, Tekken 7, and Smash Brothers, okay? I'm pretty sure I mentioned this already before, but Smash Brothers is quite like, it's quite, you know, out there. You know what I mean? It's quite, not out there. It's quite kind of obvious, I suppose, where it's like, yes, it has life. You know what I mean? Like, I don't think that's quite, I don't think it gets any more intricate than that. It has the life. Obviously, it's much more, where we've seen already from the trailer, I think, is much more different than just lives, right? But it is basically live stocks, right? Anyways, he said, Sekiro's Stagger Sword play now if you guys haven't played Sekiro that is essentially the entire game bro where you you know you attack and then you parry you parry you deflect attacks you know what I mean and the more you don't deflect you know what I mean if you don't deflect or parry you get your stagger broken you get your stagger meter goes up and your freaking block gets broken and then you are left wide open so I'm assuming they're gonna have something very similar to this in Bleach Rebirth of Souls, which sounds really freaking cool because obviously Bleach is all about swords for the most part. You know, there's like, like what, like three characters in the show where they have guns, you know, so I'm assuming they're going to follow the same thing, though. Also, we, well, a lot of time we think about people like Stark, you know, Stark with his freaking guns, but he does have a sword. He does pull out some swords later on in this fight anyways. So that is very interesting to me. And actually, a little thing about me, I actually love Sekiro. I really, really love Sekiro. It's one of my favorite games ever. But what I do worry about, though, is that hopefully people aren't like if, if it's going to work very similar to Sekiro or like obviously they say pastiche, which basically means like, like a close like imitation type beat. I'm pretty sure that what that word means. You can look it up yourself <laughs> if I'm reading more details on that word. Anyways, since Sekiro, if, if it's going to be like you perfect block or you parry people, you know, parry people online or whatever, you know, boom, they are staggered for who knows how long and you get to essentially get a free hit in. I don't know how strong that mechanic is going to be. Obviously, it's, I'm assuming it's going to be very integral to the game, but I hope this is not to the point where people are going to be fishing for these. You know what I mean? Where look, I've been around buddy i've been around man so in xenoverse freaking two dude i don't know if it's still like this to this day but people all the people did i remember online i used to get i was really deep into xenoverse's online play okay i'm sorry okay but people were fishing for perfect blocks bro like holy moly and what perfect blocks did in xenoverse they drained some of you know the person who you perfect block stamina right you know and you fish for those and sometimes you know there's these like there's these super souls or whatever and that you, you benefit off of from, you know, perfect blocking. So hopefully it doesn't turn into that. And people are, you know, fishing for these perfect blocks for these parries or whatever. But that sounds really interesting. You know what I mean? So I, I who knows what that means now? Tekken 7's reversals. You know, I started playing Tekken 8, you know, when it came out. And I'm actually kind of back into it a little bit. You know, I don't. Does, I don't think Tekken has Tekken 8 has like reversals for real, right? Like, uh, like you know what I mean? But Tekken 7 specifically reversals, I'm going to have to look more into that and what that means, unless you guys know maybe a little bit more about what this statement could, you know, allude to. Um, But obviously, yes, the game has a big reversal mechanic. We literally see a gauge of reversals before reversals, excuse me, while, you know, the gameplay overview was playing, right? You know, it's on the bottom left and right corners reverse gauge or reverse meter of some sort so the reversals are a huge thing about this game so i wonder what exactly do they mean by tekken 7 reverse if you guys know what they are probably referring to i'll probably look it up myself probably right after this video was recorded and uh yeah but yeah that sekiro stagger sword play really caught my eye man because that means these battles can be very interesting very fun and like just it obviously it, then it, it captures the the embodies bleach, you know what I mean? Because it's pure swords. They're always clinging and clinging to swords. 
You know what I mean? Until they get a couple of nicks in or the infamous shoulder slash shout out to my one video that uh, about the freaking V jump scan. Anyways, guys, let's scroll down a little bit more. I can't wait for this game and what they mean by that. Now, a balanced shonen fighting game. Arguably the most difficult challenge in making Rebirth of Souls was into integrating major tenets of the anime's unique power systems. While Rebirth of Souls naming conventions may prove intimidating to prospective players on first blush, Suzuki stressed that players won't be required to have an over familiarity with Bleach's encyclopedic power structure to enjoy the game and eke out a victory. That's true. Basically, Reishi is your health bar. Stocks is just, Kompaku is your stocks. Boom. That's like spiritual pressure is your energy, you know, your meter, right? You can you can simplify it, right? Rebirth of Souls will also come with a comprehensive in-game play guide tutorials and stuff. Make it easier to, uh, of course, yes. They'll, of course, within the game, they'll hopefully make you familiar with their freaking terminology. In contrast to Sparking Zero, whose producer hinted that the game would reflect the anime's ensemble's power scaling with unbalanced battles. That is true. Obviously, that's a huge thing about the Tenkaichi games and now Sparking Zero, which people love. And that is really good, you know, because it's really fun. You know what I mean? Body is Dragon Ball. But Rebirth of Souls characters were designed to have an equal win rate with another. Mm, okay. So, you know, you might be using like a you know, a stinkier character, quote unquote, who's not as strong, maybe like, you know, shout out the goat, he's the goat, Chad, right? A Chad main will have the same pro, you know, he'll hopefully have an equal fighting chance to someone who is using someone like freaking like Okiora or freaking Aizen, you know, as long, if you're, you're, if you're a better player as Chad than the freaking Aizen player, you're going to, you're going to beat out the, the freaking Aizen. You know what I mean? Like a fighting game. Whoa, Chad. Whoa. Or, you know, maybe other arena fighters in general, right? But, you know what I mean? They did say they want this to be a run-of-the-mill arena fighter, right? So, anyways. Our game concept revolves around the reversal experience, and each character is really unique. Especially their Zanpak Toad, the weapons wielded by Blizzard Shinigami, which offers multifaceted abilities, he says. Each character retains distinct features. Some characters excel in speed, while others focus on heavy power, and some are good at attacking from distances. I feel like this is pretty self-explanatory. Obviously, yes, every character who has a Zonpak Toe, who has a sword, is going to have crazy different abilities. You know, really excited for that. And honestly, I kind of, you know, said in the beginning, excel in speed, power, and distance. You know, characters like Yoroichi, maybe like Chad and Kenpachi, and then, you know, like Uryu or something, right? Additionally, each character can enhance their abilities through awakening. In that regard, some characters are easy to handle, even for casual gamers, while others cater more to core action gamers. Ooh. However... Every character has a chance to reverse the situation, ensuring that all have an equal chance to win. So they want this game to be like, a, like they're really hinting towards, like, yes, they don't want to be a run and mill 3D action game, 3D fighting game, whatever. They want it to be like a, or 3D arena fighter, they actually want it to be a 3D fighting game. That's what I've heard, and I think I saw a little tagline as, as well. Moving on, historically, Bleach has been noticeably out of the gaming zeitgeist in comparison to the fellow in comparison to its fellow Big 3 shown in contemporaries Naruto and One Piece. As mentioned earlier, it's been 13 years since Bleach characters have graced a video game, and if you don't count their appearance in 2019 anime Oscars-esque <laughs> arena fighter Jump Force. The last fully-fledged Bleach game was Soul Resurrection for PlayStation 3. Mm -hmm. They received middling reviews from critics, including our own, where we said the game had a simple yet enjoyable Dynasty Warriors as combat, blah 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 blah. That is true. It has been a long freaking time since the last freaking um, Bleach game. Some screenshots here, W. Um, as big three concern, blah, 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 blah. okay. Bleach Rebirth Souls said the upcoming game will will be an exception to the trend of anime action games by having a combat system that is, a, that is complex, that is as complex as its beautifully rendered three models. The game does look pretty freaking good, dude. It does look pretty freaking good. And although Bleach has one of the largest cast of characters in the show in anime with more personalities and power set being introduced, sets being being introduced in Bleach Eyes and Blood War. Yes, the Rebirth of Souls. If you guys don't know, somehow at this point, uh, yes, it is only going to cover the first three arcs. Thank you very much. <laughs> the beginning of Bleach till the Aronka arc, right? Which is which should still be a very like satisfying amount of characters. You know what I mean? That should be a decent amount of characters still. Things we're reaching. Yes, we are reaching the end of this article. Now, for the last little stretch here, this is the first Bleach game that Bandai as a company is introducing, and it's been a while since the last game was introduced, so we thought it would 
It'd be great to introduce these characters from the original arc to the Iran card time period and introduce the history of these characters, how they met, and how battles have taken place, he says. Fans can look forward to more updates like fans can look forward to more updates like Rebirth of Souls playable character roster in the future as the game inches closer to its yet to be announced release date. Some very interesting statements from the producer here. Really like really decent information as well. So Yes, from what I've gathered here, dude, he wants this game to be an actual, like, balanced shonen fighting game, not like Sparking Zero, where it's unbalanced. You know, that's that's Sparking Zero's charm. You know what I mean? But it actually, wants to be a balanced game, and also its statements about implementing Sekiro's stagger sword play, Tekken Seven's reversals, and Smash Brothers stock health bar system. Honestly, this is pretty. I feel like pretty, you know, in your face. But I want. I'm really curious about what this means. I'm assuming Tekken Seven had moves where you like. There's a straight up reversals for real. Like I'm assuming what Rebirth of Souls is having. But you know, from a little bit of gameplay we saw, it's like a meter and it drains when you use it. So we're gonna get into that in the breakdown, guys. Okay, look forward to that. Sekiro's dude. Low key, this is what I want out of a, a freaking modern Bleacher game is to have like like sword play dude sword play but like i said i hope people don't fish for like perfect parries whatever the freak you know perfect blocks whatever deflects you know and then you get staggered and then you get you can get you get really punished for it right for getting staggered oh man oh this is really exciting they want this game to be like actually good bro they want this game to be not your run of the mill 3d arena fighter they want it to be a 3d fighting game guys like tekken right and soul caliber right I haven't played Soul Calibur, but you know, I've seen it. I just, it looks like they care, dude. It looks like they care, man. Are we back chat? Are we hashtag back guys? Holy moly, dude. Oh man. Oh, this is shots from the first trailer. Anyways, guys, I'm, I'm super excited. I'm really excited. I'm super duper excited, man. I really need to see more of this game. Funnily enough, you know, we just got an overview trailer. We need more, we need more, we need more, but I think it's gonna come out soon. Anyways, guys, to end off the video, man, we're gonna check out this little thing here, I guess, Rukia PV, man. And according to this person here, um, they, according to them, they said that at the end of each best battle selection program via TV Tokyo on Wednesdays, this is where this was, I guess, showcased. And I think they basically allude to that they will show a character every Wednesday or something. This did come out about Wednesday. <laughs> I'm pretty sure this the 24th. You know, at the time of this recording, this was a day ago. So yeah, literally as soon as the freaking trailer came out, it seems like 8:41 a.m. And uh, yeah, let's let's ch let's check out let's check out Rukia real quick, dude. Let's check out Rukia. Okay. Rukia gameplay. Rukia little teaser gameplay. Show me. Show, come on. Come on. It's almost half the video. You haven't shown me Rukia yet, bro. Rukia Kushiki. Oh, yeah. Awakening. Uh, uh, oh. 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 Chat. Rukia looks hype. Chat. All right. All right. Immediately, we're going to analyze this, of course, a little bit, dude. So, Awakening. So Rukia, from the from what it looks like, oh, they, come on, the little frost breath, come on, and then, boom, Soden no Shirayuki, bro, Soden no Shirayuki, bro, do you nerd me, awakening, overturn the tide of battle. So it looks like her Shikai is her awakening. Mmm. So you're gonna be playing as Rukia, you know, just seals on Pakto mode, right? Okay. Soden no Shirayuki is her awakening. Just, you know, that was definitely what I was really wondering about, especially since Awakening seemed to be a very integral part of this game. Really great shot of her here. And then, boom, we see her do this crazy, like, slash, boom, blast, keto or something, boom. Then she does the, I don't remember her techniques off my head, bro. I'm sorry. I don't, I don't know if this is Sanomai or whatever the freak, though, you nerd me. Um, but the, the ice pillar attack, she hits him from all the way over there. <gasps> do you think she planted it? No, she didn't plan it. She immediately put it there. You know what? They have creative freedom for all I care. I don't care, dude. This looks sick. Boom. And then, uh, what is that? What is that? What has she done? Like a beam from her sword? <laughs> I mean, whatever. It looks cool. Unless it's that one stabbing attack from Aru Nero's fight, bro. That's how she beat him. If that's what this is supposed to be. That was a sick combo. Yeah, that's the whole trailer. And then a little, I think that's her ult or something. And then. Oh, oh, little blast, little blast. Okay, W, and then maybe what seems to be her windscreen. Oh, yeah. 
Holy moly. This looks look at this combo, dude. Let's let it let's let it let's let it play real quick one more time. Boom, 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 boom. Oh my gosh. So Rukia definitely seems probably be like a more of like a I don't want to say set play, but she has a lot of range attacks. Cause boom, really freaking far reaching like a spin attack or whatever. Slash, you know, all you know, circular slash type beat, then the blast, then her ice pillar attack and then big old stab bro that was a sick combo dude i said this in my first little like new you know with the v jump scans and all that stuff right i said at first bro oh no i think it was my uh, actual breakdown of the trailer there's another little gameplay of like bonkai ichigo and like yeah a little glimpse of rukia and uryu the combos might be freaking nasty in this game look at this uh holy moly i hope we can have a lot of creativity with the combos like in you know fighting games where we have the obvious like bread and butter type beat combos you know I mean, that work for everyone but maybe more like the creative combos where they do more damage and all that stuff because this looks this looks sick look at that man holy moly dude oh yeah chat is it is it crazy to say that i think we are hashtag eating bro is it crazy to say we are eating Especially if we get a little showcase every week or so about all the characters. I'm assuming they're going through all the characters that have been like confirmed so far, like Itoichi and Uryu and stuff. But I can't wait for this game, man. There is so much info. There's so much already about this game. They're promoting this game a lot already. So this game might come sooner than we think, man. So anyways, chat, a lot of interesting inf information has came out already about this game. I can't wait. Sekiro, Tekken 7, Smash Brothers influence is all coming together to form Bleach Rebirth the Souls. And they've done their homework, man. They seem to have done their homework. They seem like they care. <sighs> Thank goodness, bro. I think, chat, I think it's safe to say, or at least, you know, it's, I think it's a little safe to, you know, lean towards that we are in good hands, you know? I think if you're, you know, it's good to be cautiously optimistic. I think I am more so cautiously optimistic for this game, but I think I am, you know, I think cautious, like my cautious side, you know, is simmering down a little bit, so. There is that, man. I hope you guys are excited for this game as I am. Leave a like if you want, maybe so you really want. Like, I'm not your type beat. And um, yeah, man, that's been yours truly, freaking Viggo, man. I can't wait for this freaking game. Hope we see more again soon. But you know what? No, they showed off a lot. I think I'm okay with you know a little bit of a down period, but I mean, who knows? <laughs> I think we'll all take some more news and stuff about this game, right, guys? Anyways, chat. That has been yours, freaking truly, Viggo. And I think, man, I think I am freaking gone. <laughs>